Hey, everybody. I am doing, guess what? Yeah, and I'm walking my dog. Yeah. But I wanted to really quick see um, how my hair is in the sun. Uh, what the shine is looking like now that I've started using my uh, coconut oil regularly. Here's my babies. See, she's having so much fun. Um, but ever since I started using the coconut oil regularly, I can definitely feel a big difference in my hair, and I think that it looks shinier, um, but it's hard to tell because I'm almost never seeing it from outside, and even though this is probably silly, um, I wasn't really in the mood to take a mirror outside the backyard because that seems silly, so I just wanted to do a little bit of filming, um, walking my angel. See if I can get a few shots of my hair in the sun. In the sun. I'm gonna run some errands today, and if possible, I will do a follow along with me because I am going to Target and probably CVS. So I'll see you guys in a bit. There's my girl again. Okay, hang on. Let me hold it. I just would like to point out because I didn't mention it in the initial filming of this little walk around but if you will notice it is sunny beautiful sun in my face and i am wearing a sleeveless uh crepe kind of blouse and some jeans i'm warm and i would just like to mention december 31st that's right december 31st not may not june not august december 31st New Year's Eve. And yes, I live in the continental United States. What is up? Oh my God, I think I wore a tank top uh, the vast majority of my vacation, which constituted the last two weeks of December and the first week of January. Unbelievable. I, I, yeah, no words. I've lost my words. But yeah, just thought I'd point that out. Tank top, New Year's Eve. Granted, it's noon. I think the high today is going to be in the 70s. Um, it is cold in the morning and cold at night when there's no sun in the sky, but holy moly. Yeah, tank top. Just thought I'd point that out. See ya. So, hey. I'm going to admit something here. It's a little bit embarrassing, but... I freaked myself out so bad when I got to the Target parking lot that I was too shaky <laughs> to film anything when I went into the store and I'm really sorry. Um, I had every intention of doing a little bit of follow me along in Target and doing a little filming while I was in there. I seem to have the best luck with getting to film inside a store when I go to Target and my next stop is CVS and, and there's no way I'm going to get to film in there. but. Here's what I did. So humiliating. I pulled into the parking lot, pulled into the spot that I'm in right now. There were plenty of people walking around and as you can see, I'll pan around a little bit. It's pretty darn busy here today, New Year's Eve. And uh, somehow, I don't know what I did, but I set off my own car alarm. I have had this car since 2003. So a long time. I have no idea how to shut off the alarm. None. It's happened to me uh, once before when I had probably had the car for under a year and I set it off and when I got in the car and started it, it, it stopped. But it's never gone off. I, <laughs> I honest to God don't know what I did. I either hit the alarm on the key fob by accident. I thought maybe I just accidentally hit the horn and the horn started going off because that's what my alarm does. The horn just goes off and off and off, hugely loud and the lights flash and everybody in the parking lot was staring at me because they thought something terrible was happening and I had no idea what to do. So I started the car and backed out of the spot and that didn't stop it. It just kept going. And so I was going to drive home thinking, I'm going to have to drive all the way home with my lights flashing and my horn going off. And it finally shut off on its own just from time, I guess. It was just time. 
I was so mortified and so shaky, I almost went home. But then I thought, how stupid is that? Um, but yeah, I was way too shaky to film anything inside the store. So I'm really sorry I didn't do it, take you along into Target with me. Um, I didn't get all that much that was exciting anyway, and I can show you guys when I get home. But um, I just wanted to let you know, that's why I didn't film inside Target. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> and I'm really, really glad that I wasn't filming when it happened because I was getting my camera out of my purse at the time that the alarm started going off so that I could do a little intro when I got here. I am such an idiot. I am so sorry. Anyway, I'm going to head over to CBS and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Um, oh, it's been a day. Let me have a little sip of coffee. Mm. Vulture's Mocha Swirl, my favorite. Um, I want to do a haul to show you everything that I got when I went out today. Uh, what was supposed to be a follow me along video ended up becoming a uh, I freaked myself out and couldn't film video embarrassing but uh, I did get some things while I was out so at least we can salvage this with a little bit of a haul so I've got quite a few things just little bitty things but uh, quite a few of them that I want to uh, cover and then a couple things that I made this morning that I want to talk about too really quickly um, and hopefully you will find this the least bit interesting. <laughs> Let's hope I can salvage this. Okay, so the first place I went today was Target. And the primary thing I went to get was actually a crock pot, which I did get. Um, rather than, well, I guess I can pick it up. It's kind of heavy, but um, I don't think you really care. But I got a crock pot. Um, my old crock pot, the lid, the handle on the lid broke off. I don't know what that was all about. The plastic just gave way or something, but it actually um, cracked off. So I couldn't use it anymore. It was perfectly fine, but since I couldn't lift the lid off, pardon me, I wasn't going to be able to use it anymore. So now that we are Costco members and they have amazing meat, uh, I really, really needed a crock pot. So I replaced that today and hopefully we'll be able to get to Costco soon so that I can get some roasts and some stuff that I can fix up in there. So that was the first thing I got. Um, the rest of this is pretty much makeup related. Uh, a few little hair things and some storage. So first I picked this up while I was there. It's just like a pen holder from the office supply area. And I'm going to use it for makeup brushes. Uh, my makeup brush collection is out of control. Completely out of control. Kind of like me. Since I'm kind of out of control and obsessive and I seem to buy everything I see. So I've got way more brushes than I have space for upstairs now. So I'm going to use this and store some additional brushes there. That'll be helpful. Um, another storage thing I got were these little uh, plastic containers. They are designed for use, I guess they, they're they called TSA approved jars or whatever, so that you can carry liquids and lotions and stuff onto a plane. But I'm going to use them for the item that I'm going to be talking about at the end of this video, something that I did this morning, a DIY thing, and I'm going to be storing it in these. So I picked those up, that was nice. I think those were only like $1.79. Um, Next at Target, I got some hair things, and I have seen on somebody else's, I think Bunny from Graveyard Girl, maybe. I hope. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, she had gotten some hair ties for somebody over the holidays, and I had never seen them before. And she was talking about these, like, silky-looking hair ties that she and her mom use. Um because they don't rip your hair out like a regular elastic does. And I put my hair up all the time. Braids, ponytails, uh, pigtails, uh, tons of stuff. And I constantly have my hair up and I do suffer from a lot of breakage. So I thought I'd give these a try. They had, these are by, um, what is it? Uh, Remington and these were two for $5. So I got the set that was the blue and green. And then I got the set that was the pink and orange and red. Sorry, I'm like keeping you from being able to see this. But uh, anyway, I thought those were kind of cute and I'll give those a try tonight. Um, I also got the Goody brand. 
they're basically the same. They were a little bit more expensive, but um, I like Goody. I trust them, so I figured I would give this a go. Um, anyway, I'll try these out tonight and I'll let you know what I think. Um, that's the hair stuff. Um, one, oh, one more thing that was hair stuff. Sorry, I got some Velcro rollers. Uh, I have some Velcro rollers. They're actually smaller size and I used them with not much success in the past and then stopped using them. Well, I noticed that my friend Sam, Kermit Von Frog, uh, was using or does use the Velcro rollers to get just volume in her hair when she uh, washes and, and styles it, and it looks fantastic. So I pulled out my old ones and tried them again and actually kind of liked it, but I wanted some bigger sizes so I got more volume and less curl on the end um, because it, the curlers were fine. I swear there's somebody behind me. Okay, this is freaking me out. I would see it in the camera, but I, yeah. I don't see anyone behind me, but I swear I hear someone behind me. Um, and I'm gonna watch my time as well. Anyway, I wanted the bigger size so I could get more volume because the smaller ones tend to curl the ends of the hair, but not the base of the hair. So I get, you know, straight and then a curl. Ugh, I don't care for it, but um, I picked these up. They're really big um, and I thought I would give these a try. Okay, that is the end of the hair stuff. Um, the other, one of the other non-makeup things that I got while I was at Target, I found some peppermint extract. And I had been looking for uh, peppermint oil, not extract, but peppermint oil, to use in the uh, coconut oil hair mask that I did the video on, the DIY, with the coconut oil honey, the organic honey, and then there was a video that I saw where the gal made a similar mask and she put peppermint oil in it. Um, because it stimulated the scalp or something and I thought that sounded great. Well, I couldn't find oil, but I found peppermint extract and I'm going to again use that uh, for the little item that I'm going to talk about at the end and I'll show this again um, then. Anyway, okay, let's get on to makeup. First, I want to go over the stuff that I got today and all of the makeup items that I got today I got at CVS. Let me see how I'm doing on time. I think I'm okay. We'll see. Um, I picked this stuff up at uh, CVS and they were having a sale. I think that they were having a better sale at the beginning of December than they are right now. They still had some items that were 50% uh, off, 75% off, very, very few. I think I only saw one thing that was uh, marked with the green dot 75 and it wasn't anything I was interested in. I think most of that sale that they had is over. They've got some stuff that was 50% off, but one of the primary things I went for was the physician's formula. And uh, that did not show as being on sale at all. Not even buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm not sure if that ended already, but either way, the physician's formula item that I was looking for, which was a shimmer strips or something like that, they didn't have at CVS. And I was, I'm kicking myself now because they had it at Target and I picked it up and I had it in my hand. And I put it down because I figured why buy it at Target for full price when they're having a sale at CVS and I'll just go over there and get it. Well, of course, I knew in the back of my head when I got to CVS they weren't going to have it. But um, I did manage to find two items. Uh, did I find two or just one? No, I guess I just found one of the uh, Physician's Formula items. And it's a new, uh, one of their new CC line items. And this is actually a mascara. And it has that rubbery wand, which is the type of wand that I like. Um, I know Kermit Von Frog, Sam, you don't like these wands. They poke you, they're dangerous, they're deadly. Um, and the brushes do the same to me. So this one actually has the uh, rubberized wand. And I figured for maybe some tutorial type videos or just, you know, practicing or, you know, attempting to put lashes on or something, I could use a mascara that was a drugstore brand rather than using my Better Than Sex Too Faced, which was very expensive. So I picked this up. Hopefully I will enjoy it. I'll let you know. Um, I also picked up some Almay oil-free eye makeup remover pads. I have these Almay makeup remover pads already, but I have the oil ones. Pardon me, because they seem to do a really good job getting uh, waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner off. 
I'm going to give the oil free a try and see if they work as well. I'm not sure if they will, but um, hopefully keep your fingers crossed. Okay, looks like I'm almost at my 10 minute mark. So I'm gonna stop this here and then start up again and we'll finish the haul because I don't want to get cut off. See you in a minute. Okay, start the clock again, another 10 minutes, yay! Okay, so um, I also picked up uh, one, two items from Milani and one from Wet n Wild. And then I also got, because it was on sale, um, and I absolutely adore this color. I saw this on Amber Light's YouTube channel. This is L'Oreal Nail Lacquer or Nail Polish in the color uh, Walk on the Beach. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it's going to be a really nice nude. And I may p uh, paint that on later on tonight. I don't know. If I have some time. Okay, then from Milani I got the Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. It's kind of a peachy, kind of a peachy golden color. Um, oh, I didn't open the packaging. Otherwise, I would totally swatch this for you. Let's see if I can do it really quick like. Ooh, look at that. Really quick like. Oh, that's so cute. Look. I didn't even know. I wondered why this kind of shook around in the packaging. It's got um, this little... It lifts up and there's a little brush in there. How cute is that? Oh my God, and a mirror too. Oh, 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 I had no idea. Anyway, um, just gonna swatch this on my finger. Hope you can see that. Um, it's a really nice, uh, kind of a orangey pinkish shade. I don't know if that's even picking up in this light. Um, but it's actually kind of pretty. I think I might like it. Um, it's kind of different than what I'm used to because what I'm used to is brown all the time. Um, and then the other thing I got, which I am definitely not going to be able to swatch because the packaging, oh, well, I don't think I'll swatch it anyway, but I can open it for you because I got the little thing open. I got a Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit this was the only one that they had. I'm sorry, there's so much glare on that. Um, sorry, I'm recording this with my in my kitchen rather than in my bedroom um, so that I could get some natural light. But um, it's the Highlight Brow 1, Brow 2, but I thought that the bottom color, the darker color, might make a good brow powder. Um, and I'm all about filling in my brows these days, so I thought I would give it a try, and it was Milani, it was relatively cheap, and the Milani products were buy one, get one for 50% off, so um, that's why I got the two, the blush and the eyebrow. Anywho, thought I'd give those a try, and then um, the last thing that I bought today was from Wet n Wild, and it's a Mega Glow Illuminating Powder in the color uh, Starlight Bronze, it looks like, number 348. This was um, very intriguing. Uh, it's got a number of different colors in it. It mentions on the packaging that it is for, I believe, maybe not on the packaging, I think it mentioned it on the uh, display, that it was for uh, face, eyes, and cheeks, body, um, for a radiant glow multi-hued radiance um, but I thought this looked like a really interesting maybe bronzer highlighter kind of thing it's got one shade in it that looks uh, pretty shimmery so I think that uh, I don't know if you can see that but that shade right there has quite a bit of shimmer to it so I'm thinking I don't know we'll see I'll give it a try anyway it looked really good thought I'd give it a bo uh, give it a go um, and it's wet and wild and who can go wrong with wet and wild it was a buck 99. Oh, I swear it's my dog moving back there and I keep sensing <laughs> movement behind me. Oh, it's ghosts. Um, okay. The other thing that I wanted to show you only because I picked it up this weekend and everybody on YouTube talks about it. And I wanted you to know that I did succumb to the, uh, pressure of the YouTubes and I picked up the two faced uh, chocolate Soleil medium deep matte bronzer. Everybody uses this. 
everybody. I didn't get just the bronzer. Um, I At Sephora, they were offering this uh, beauty blogger little kit that had multiple items in it, one of which was a small size of this bronzer. I'm... <laughs> I'm not a huge contouring person. I use a little bit of bronzer sometimes just to um, emphasize my cheekbones. I used to use a bronzer just as blush and I didn't put it anywhere else on my face. And so I wasn't sure if I really wanted uh, the full size of this until I'd had a chance to try it out. And it was $10 less for this package as opposed to just getting the bronzer itself, which, oh. Oh my God, everybody knows that has this. It smells absolutely amazing. Um, it's a great color. I love everything brown, so I'm sure that I'm going to enjoy it. But I've been uh, kind of experimenting a little bit with contouring on the sides of my nose with another bronzer that I have that I think is a wet and wild. And uh, I like the effect it gives, but I'm not crazy about the color. So I thought maybe this as a contour, um, as an alternative, I might really, really like. Um, I really don't think there's much of a need to swatch this because everybody and their brother has seen this already. Um, but I will really quickly on the back of my hand, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just below the, um, <clears throat> the Milani blush. Yeah, there's a little bit of tint there. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to using that. It also came with a, uh, sample size of the... Uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and I use that uh, for my swatches because I'm not crazy about it. I like the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer way, way better for my eyes. So whenever I get these uh, small size or trial sizes of the uh, of any other type of eyeshadow primer, I usually use it for swatching and taking pictures. So I've got another one of those now, which is great. And then the um, Primed and Poreless Too Faced Face Primer came in it as well. I don't think I've tried that one yet, but um, I may give it a go. Right now, I really like the Urban Decay uh, Face Primer, and I need to get a bigger size of that because I'm using up my uh, travel size very, very quickly. Anywho, um, that was what I got. How am I doing on time? Looks like I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so finally, here's what I did this morning and what these little jars are for and what I'm going to use this peppermint extract for. This morning, I went ahead and experimented, played a little bit, and made some sugar lip scrubs. I'd seen them a few different types on YouTube and it looked really easy to make. So since I'm obsessed with coconut oil, I have a big jar of it in my uh, cupboard that I use for my hair, use that today. And while I um, was letting the oil soak into my hair, I came downstairs and I put a little bit of it in some, uh, uh, use your words, it's been a long day. Um, I put a little bit of it in some ramekins and made a sugar scrub for my lips. I made two different flavors. Um, both using coconut oil and white sugar, and I believe I used the organic raw honey in both of them too. Um, one of them I used some vanilla extract that I had, and the other one I used some cinnamon. So this is the lip scrub that I made this morning with the vanilla, and it smells really good. They've both been in the refrigerator, so they're a little bit hard right now, um, but Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, these things are so awesome. I don't want to like kill my lips because I did um, use both of them this morning and my lips were way uh, red, way, way red, but very, very soft. And the great thing about these is um, after you've applied them, you can just lick them off. So good. Anyway, and this one is the cinnamon. And I just kind of played until I got the consistency that looked about right. Um, I didn't really follow any uh, set amounts or anything like that. I just uh, mixed the oil and, oil and other ingredients up first, added the sugar last so that the sugar wouldn't dissolve. But anyway, I'm going to experiment a little bit later with the uh, some more using this peppermint. And we'll make a batch of peppermint. Anyway, thanks a lot. Sorrow, uh, sorrow. Oh God, I've got a thousand bloopers. Sorry I didn't do a follow-along um, coming up on my time again. 
Thanks for sitting through my haul. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I can get a few more videos done. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Rate this video and comment. Let me know if you love me, hate me, wish I was doing something different. Uh, thanks a lot, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.